Hey guys, I'm Brooke. So yeah, all right. So I'm going to show you how to make ramen because it is Wednesday, and this one is super simple. So you should be able to do this real easy. You just need a package of ramen. Um, I'm just showing you brand because I'm not a advertising for anyone or anything. It's just this is vegan, which I think is kind of cool that it's ramen and it's vegan. All you're gonna need is like the little thing that comes in it, the ramen, and water. And, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my water, but I like to, you can put it in either way. You can put the water in first, or you can put stuff in first. I like putting stuff in because I just like that. So just put the packet in. This is how you do ramen on the stove. You can also do this on in a microwave. Not on a microwave, it probably won't even get hot enough. Now, the cool thing about a water bottle is you don't have to use all the water and you can use the rest to drink from while you're eating your food. So it's like multi-purpose or you can drink it while you're cooking if you get thirsty because the kitchen gets hot and other things and I guess there's a phrase if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. But you know what else? If you're like me, you might want to add stuff to your ramen. I like garlic. Garlic is good. Okay, garlic. You want to misbehave, don't you? And this ramen is so cool. It's like natural. Like the noodles are natural and they actually like, they're not weird like other ramens, I guess. I don't know. I just know apparently some ramens, their manufacturers make really weird noodles that don't digest or something. I don't know. Anyway, these are healthy. Healthy. This is probably nothing like actual ramen that you'd get if you went to Japan. I want to go to Japan one day. I'm taking Japanese at my college. Yes, I am. It's true. I have Japanese at like 9 a.m. tomorrow. 9 a.m. And I have another class called Experimental Psychology that I need to get some stuff done, so I'm not going to get much sleep. But you know what? That is why I'm making ramen. And I'm a poor college student, so I, don't, I can't really afford stuff. But ramen is really good, and I like salt. This site doesn't give much salt, but that's too much salt. <laughs> Now, if that happens, <laughs> take your wrong <laughs> Your hands should be clean. My hands are clean, I promise. Oh, child. Oh, child. I would rinse that off. Fixed it, but fell in the soup part because 
And also, I like really salty things, so this is not a big deal for me. I get that from my grandma. Really. But, you see, I hope I don't bore you because I don't want to bore you. But I don't think I will because that was exciting. And that tiny part could totally go viral. I don't know how to make vines, but that would make a great vine. Maybe. Or no, it probably wouldn't. Just kind of clear out this salt. <laughs> you know. Was you recording that? What? 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 <laughs> the, the part with the salt. I kind of just like, hey, hey there. Yeah. But like, salt's pretty good. Like, <clears throat> bugs, they don't like salt. So this could help keep, keep your little kitchen area less infested by bugs. <laughs> Hopefully it's not infested by bugs. Also, this is a very good way to cook ramen on a stove. If you don't know how to cook stuff on a stove, you turn on the stove, you put water and you let your ramen boil. Now, you may want to flip your ramen over because the bottom part gets mushy and it gets done first. And this way you don't have to wait for the top part to get all mushy too. Just flip it over and therefore it all starts getting done. Look how much it's cooking good. I'm cooking. It's cooking. But anyway, as you see, I still say anyway. That's a thing. And this is a fork. But, um, yeah, ramen's really nice. This ramen's almost done, and then I'm gonna go study and do stuff for my classes. Cause this is my college student video. Cause a lot of college students don't have a lot of money, and we're struggling in this world. So it's a lot of cooking like this. And also, if you're out in the forest and you have a pack of ramen, you can build a fire, take a pan or a rock or whatever or a bowl that you make in the forest or whatever like that, and you can cook it like this because you don't have a microwave in the forest. I'm helping you. All right, my ramen seems to be done. Now, once your ramen is done, turn off the stove. <laughs> guys tomorrow with some random tips.